Okay, so here is the motion. Uh, it's, from, it's, it's, uh, it's stamped the chief whip. Okay, it's a memorandum and it's written to the right honorable speaker. It's from Honorable Mohammed Mubarak Muntaka. The minority chief whip is on the 9th of November today. Subject is motion for vote of censure. It reads as follows. Does it open up? Okay, it reads as follows. Uh, that this honorable house passes a vote of censure on the honorable attorney general and minister of justice, Mr. Godfrey Diabo Adami, in respect of the following conduct. Now, viewers, keep your eye on that one. Very, very important. Uh, if you can see clearly, I'm going to read it aloud. In respect of the following conduct. Number one, refusal, it says, without justifiable basis to implement the resolution of this honorable house unanimously passed on the 29th of October, 2021, that the General Legal Council admits into the Ghana School of Law 499 students who sat for and passed the entrance examination of the Ghana School of Law for the 2021 legal year in accordance with its own published ground rules. Impugning the image, okay, so that's the first one, that said the Minister of Justice has refused without a justifiable basis. And they say without a justifiable basis. But the minister wrote to parliament, and tonight we're going to go into the letter that the ministers wrote to parliament and wonder whether the members of parliament or some of the members of parliament did not have opportunity and occasion to read the letter. It's very, very important. They say without a justifiable basis because the basis on which the minister was challenging the resolution was clearly stated in his letter to parliament, and he relied on the law, the Legal Profession Act, very, very clear. Now, Parliament are legislators. They are lawmakers. So when a minister writes to you relying on the law, and after that, Parliament says that the minister provided uh, no justifiable basis, uh, then we begin to wonder whether maybe they didn't have opportunity to have a look at the letter and read it well. But that's what they say, that without justifiable basis, uh, he doesn't show why he did not implement a resolution of the Honorable House. That's quite serious, you know, because the Honorable House is saying that they passed a resolution that members of a, a certain group of people who, in the eyes of Parliament, had passed law school and trans exam should be admitted by the Ghana School of Law. This is the Legislative Assembly. We're going to go into the Constitution and show you the role that has been given to the Legislative Assembly. Now, the power for Parliament to censure is given. We're not challenging that. It's in the standing orders. That's okay. But we're going to benchmark it against the Constitution and see whether, for instance, if something happens at Tema Port today, and uh, uh, X number of people are removed as workers of Gapoha. Whether Parliament can, by resolution, ask Gapoha to re-employ these people? Because, you see, Parliament is the legislative arm of government. The judiciary is the, uh, the, the, the judicial arm of government. The fundamental role of the judiciary is, is judicial review. So these workers that we talk about at, at uh, the, the example that I give of uh, Gapoha, when they are dismissed, they have recourse to the judiciary. Because judiciary has power to review the decisions of the legislature and of the executive. The judiciary has power to do so, to review everybody's decision on the basis of the law. The judiciary is a custodian of the law. That's the power that the constitution has given them. We will show you how the constitution delineates. That's the law, that language that is used. That's a word that is used. Delineate all of these powers, legislative, executive, and judiciary. And we will now go back to 1748 and talk about... Why separation of powers has stood the test of time? A, 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 a political legal concept that was uh, dreamed of in 1748 has stood the test of time of centuries. The reason is because it is so important for the protection of rights and for the distinction of governmental authority. That's why the separation of powers is there today. It's not a very good feeling that the Parliament of Ghana presents a memorandum in this manner. I'm, I'm hoping that it will be clearly very well looked at by the Speaker and, and hopefully the Speaker will have something to say about it. Uh, Honorable Mohammed Mubarak Muntaka is the minority chief whip and he's also the uh, member of parliament for Asawase. He's been an MP for a very long time. Good guy, good guy, good guy. Okay, let's see the letter that uh, he led. Um, okay, so this is it. Muntaka says that this honorable house passes a vote of censure on the Honorable Attorney General and Minister for Justice, Mr. Godfrey Diabo Adami, in respect of the following conduct. Okay, let's see the conduct. Refusal without justifiable basis. Now, can you say that? Can, can anyone say that? That the Attorney General has without justifiable basis, has not implemented the resolution of Parliament, unanimously passed on the 28th of October, that the General Legal Council admits into the Ghana School of Law 499 students who sat for and passed the entrance examination of the Ghana School of Law for 2021-22 legal year in accordance with our own, of its own published ground rules. What is ground, ground rules? What is that? What's the meaning of ground rules? 
I don't get it. Ground rules. What is that? The attorney general has written to you and told you that. There was the, 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 what you are calling 50% does not exist. Then you come and write a sentence and say, their own ground rules. Did they tell you their, and he says their own ground, he doesn't add what the ground rules are. But that's how you communicate. I thought that's basic. You are the parliament chief with very important person. You write in something like that, you don't leave gaps in it. You don't write, you don't really write nebulous things. What is ground rules? What is, what is the meaning of, what is ground rules? I don't get it. Is it hockey? Is it book ball? Is it uh, cricket? It's ground rules. General legal council has ground rules. What, what is that? General legal council, they have ground rules. What are the ground rules? I don't know them. But the general legal council in Ghana, they have their own ground rules. Are they playing cricket? I don't understand it. I don't get it. He says that the um, examination of the Ghana School of Law for 2021 legal year in accordance with its own published ground rules. Okay, no problem. Uh, impugning the image and integrity of this honorable house through statements unbecoming of the holder of the office of Attorney General and Minister of Justice. The letter that we read is the only record of what the Attorney General has publicly said about this whole matter, the letter that we read. Now, if you look at the wording, the content, and the context of the letter that we read, where is, it where is the statement that is unbecoming of the holder of the office of the... Uh, where, where is it? This scholarly legal letter that we read, very educative letter that we read, is unbecoming of the Minister of Justice? Then, then what, what, what kind of Minister of Justice are we looking for? If this Minister of Justice's letter... Grounded in constitution, grounded in the law, grounded in the fact, is not a, a statements that are necessary to emerge from the Attorney General and is being described as unbecoming of the holder of the Office of Minister of Justice. Here again, they do not produce that information. So I'm assuming that because that's the only information we have, that's what they are referring to. I'm guessing that's what they are referring to. I hope that they are referring to something else. Because referring to that and describing it as unbecoming, once again, is incongruous. It doesn't work. I mean, okay, yeah, that's the end of the letter. It says, attaches a list of the signed uh, honorable members respectfully submitted.